guys, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and a ton of comparisons on the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Glow products. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see more details about these two new limited edition products from Charlotte Tilbury, then just keep on watching. Before we get started, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I know I have some new subscribers because Morgan Turner uploaded a video where she was recommending YouTubers, creators that they have very small, a very, very small subscriber count. And one of them was me. And thank you so much, Morgan, for doing that. So if you're coming from Morgan's channel, Thank you so much for the opportunity. And then I also had a video that I did it in Spanish and I know a lot of different creators and different Instagram accounts, they made a shout out for me. Again, I did it in Spanish, but I now have captions. So there is a translation in English. So I know those subscribers are new to my channel. So welcome, bienvenidos a mi canal. Muchas gracias por la oportunidad. Les agradezco muchísimo. Y estoy intentando poner en todos mis videos subtítulos también si es que lo necesitan. Anyhow, friends, <laughs> you know how much I love our darling Charlotte and she just dropped two products out of nowhere and I had a early access that I was able to actually share with you. Well, my first order, it went through, I was charged, but it hasn't cheap. So in, you know, my desperation, <laughs> I went ahead and did a second order. So I got them today and sorry for my hair, it's kind of crazy, it's not as usual, but I'm gonna go finally after, what is it? Five months to my hairdresser. I think the last time I was there was in February. Going back to these, these are the Lip and Cheek Glow. These are cream blushes and lip product. They come in two shades, Color of Dreams and Color of Passion. Now these are made in Italy and the weight of these products is 2.5 grams. I'm going to go into comparisons in a little, but before I do so, let me just go into Charlotte Tilbury's website so we know exactly what to expect from these. First of all, these products are $40. That is expensive. We know Charlotte Tilbury is a luxury brand and we know her prices are very high per gram, but these, uh, we, will, we will get into this, okay? Quickly details right here. This product contains mica, which it will provide that silkiness and a smooth finish. It also have micronized powders that delivers enhanced blendability and smoothness, rich in color, vibrancy, and depth. It has also raspberry leaf stem cell extract known for its moisturizing powers, vitamin E for conditioning abilities, beeswax for a rich smooth texture with softening properties also have glossy ester to add a gloss and luster and then right here it also says they have some film forming emollients i mean i have seen another form of glycerin you know in the ingredients deck the ingredient list is not a lot is you know very very little so i already have my face with foundation i haven't applied any bronzer or highlighter just yet and i like i said i did something very simple because literally i'm running a little bit late for my appointment so let me show you the outer package this is from the family of pillow talk and i in fact <laughs> talked about pillow talk during my last will i buy it video that i'm actually trying to do premieres for my will i buy it video so we can have a little bit more of conversation while the the will i buy it video goes on but it's kind of like nars orgasm is not going to go away so we're going to have a lot more pillow talks on you know like with the orgasm okay <laughs> don't listen to me don't listen to me but i love the packaging i know i was turning red okay <laughs> again i don't know did i tell you they are made in italy okay you know i love products that they are made in italy okay so let me show you how they look from the inside i mean luxury our darling give us this right here and they come in only two shades. 
The shade that I have here is Color of Passion and they have a shelf life of 18 months. It does have a little mirror right here. And then let me show you the other shade which is called Color of Dreams. Now as you can tell the difference is very minimal. Here I have Color of Passion and here Color of Dreams. Color of Dreams is kind of like the Pillow Talk lipstick and this one right here actually looks more like the Pillow Talk Intense that came out this year. We will compare it in a little. But they have 18 months of shelf life and another thing to note is that this shade right here, Color of Dreams, it's this kind of like deep rosewood pink tone while this one right here, it's even deeper than that. I mean, I think you can tell right there, you know, like, okay, friends. So let's just go ahead and start applying them. I think I'm going to go with my fingers just to kind of like try them and let me give them a quick swatch. So here's color of dreams and then here's color of passion. color of dreams, color of passion. Okay, so let's go for color of dreams right here. And I just brought you really, really close. And let's see how this goes. And for those who are new here to my channel, welcome once again. I do have a large pores on this area right here. So I try to do not emphasize also my age, my cheeks are already, you know, kind of drooping down. So I'd like to apply my blush a little bit higher up. Okay, it feels kind of balmy, a little bit emollient, and as you can tell, it does have some shine to it. And I'm just gonna keep building a little more so you can see actually I'm gonna have really rosy cheeks now. <laughs> there you go, that's that. Okay, so let's do something since we're here. These are lip products too, so I'm going to be using Color of Dreams on my lips. Now, my lips, they do have a lot of pigmentation, so, you know, you can pretty much don't see anything on my lips. At least with this shade, Color of Dreams. Okay, let's move on and let's try Color of Passion. rosy deep rose tone so a lot more obviously more pigmented than these and I will say just a dash cooler than this one right here I'm gonna build it more so you can really see it's not lifting up my foundation I haven't set it. I haven't set my foundation, by the way. That's another important thing right here. You know what? But at the end, they both look pretty much the same because this one, you can build it up. You can go very light, but if you keep building it on, it will start looking like this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my lips so I can try Color of Fashion. So let's go for Color of Fashion here. Okay, definitely Color of Fashion. I can notice it on my lips. Now that I'm done with the demo, I really want to go into comparisons with products that they just launched that probably they are on your radar and you're kind of like debating should I get Charlotte Tilbury or should I get perhaps Patrick Ta. Now these new products from Patrick Ta, they are duos. So you have half of it, it's a cream, half of it is a powder. So let's just compare the cream. I have here the shade Oh She's Different and then here's Color of Passion so you can see it side by side. And then here it is, Color of Dreams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Oh She's Different from Patrick Ta right here, and then I'm gonna sandwich it with these two. Color of Dreams is gonna go on the top. That's right there. And then Color of Passion, it's gonna go at the bottom. You know what? Very close to color of passion. 
there is a slight difference. I see that the one from Patrick Ta has a lot more of the undertone of Color of Dreams, but the intensity of Color of Passion. Now, another deep shape from Patrick Ta is She Saw LA, but that one, although it has kind of like a pinkish tone, um, it's more neutral. Let me see, is it here somewhere? Yes, it's right here. So, as you can tell, I mean, the difference, it's quite a bit. I'm just gonna, oops, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for those who are curious. And since this one right here is Color of Dreams, I'm just gonna put She's So LA on the very top. As you can tell, these have a little bit more of like a neutral undertone, has some pink in it, but you can see right there, I think, close. Close, but Color of Dreams, it has a little bit more pink in it. Okay, and then another one of the deeper shades from Patrick Ta is this one right here called She's That Girl. And now, this one to me doesn't look anything to Color of Dreams or to Color of Passion. It's just way different. This is a coral pink tone. You can see right there. Just for the matter to have you here, I'm just going to put it up here. You can see this pulls just way more pink. Okay, friends. Now, the last product that I want to actually compare it to is Fenty Beauty. And I have here the shade 01 Rose Latte. Now, this is Color of Dreams right here. And then here I have Color of Passion. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the Patrick Ta. I'm just gonna first swatch these and put it right in the middle and then I'm gonna sandwich it, <laughs> color of dreams, and then color of passion. So color of dreams will go up here, color of passion down here. Now color of passion, it's kind of like harder to swatch in the sense like the pigment doesn't go as uniform as color of dreams. Okay, there you go. So definitely closer to Color of Passion right there. And you know what? And for curiosity, I want to go ahead and swatch these products against the Pillow Talk lipsticks. I have here Pillow Talk the original and Pillow Talk 2 medium. So I have here Color of Dreams. And then I'm just going to do this. I just swatch right here Pillow Talk the original. There you go. And let's do one. That's a new product. And two, this is the lipstick. And you know what I'm saying this because in olden times, and even now, you know, I even have a beautiful lipstick from Hindash and MAC in collaboration with MAC. And he suggests, you know, you can use your lipsticks as blush too. It's nothing out of this world. And also instead of going with the bullet, you know, and just go ahead and do your lips, you can just tap a little and then just give a little bit of a tint. So I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, and then here I have Color of Passion and then again, same thing right here. Now the difference between these obviously is that the lipsticks are actually from the Matte Revolution formula, which means that they don't have that glow. So here's the cheek product and here's the lipstick on the Pillow Talk to medium. So this one is the lip and cheek product and this one is the lipstick. Hey friends, I know this is a weird um, plug-in right here, but I thought, hey, you know, I was going to get my hair done and I got it done, yay, finally. Um, so happy about it after like five months, I think. Um, Anyhow, so I have been wearing the mask all these times, so I thought, okay, so I use my disinfectant, I'm gonna take it out, and I still have the products from Charlotte Tilbury on me. Um, obviously, the, you know, the lip product, it's already gone. I mean, it's the same thing, but it has wrap off. Yeah, 
it's right here sorry i know that's disgusting but it has rub off and as you can tell from the mask too some of my makeup has rub off sorry again but i just wanted to show you so here they are i mean as you can tell the blushes they are still there and they are pretty much the same i mean i don't see a lot of difference they had faded not much i mean i have been in the hair salon for okay so i entered in there it was three o'clock no three thirty yeah and right now it's six thirty so what is it three hours three solid hours in there and i mean it's not all day long but for you know for being blushes they are they are still there so i think they have a good lasting power so i think i will have to definitely let you know about longevity i don't want to repeat myself again but you know um in another video but at least i just wanted to mention to you that I mini mean, has lasted for being you know under a mask too okay <laughs> keep on watching now let's talk really quick about pricing okay so these are 40 dollars 2.5 grams of product the one for fenty this costs 20 dollars for three grams of product you get a little bit more here than what you do here okay all right now let's go to patrick ta patrick ta is 34 dollars and then the amount of product that you receive right here is six grams of product so three grams right here three grams right here you know give and take i know they are different formulas one is powder one is cream I know, but say it's three grams, three grams. So you're paying basically $17 right here, $17 right here. This is less expensive than this. And obviously, way, way more less expensive than this thing right here. I mean, I will say, I, I definitely, this is first impressions with Charlotte Tilbury, okay? And I will have to give you an update um, I like the formulation. These, the difference right here is extremely important between Fenty and Charlotte Tilbury. This is more of like a stain without so much glow. In fact, if you go to check on my review on these cream blushes by Fenty, um, when you see me applying them on my lips, you see that they are a little bit opaque. This one right here has some glow to it. It does have some glow to it, absolutely. Now, this right here, you have options. You can use the powder or the cream or both. It's suggested to use first the powder and then on, on top the cream to give more intensity, more glow. I have done a complete review on these Patrick Tab blushes with the entire collection, including the lipsticks, all the blushes, all of them on my cheeks with a lot of comparisons okay so here you can go mad because of the powder or add some glow to it so far of what i have tried on these two right here this one right here has a little bit more longevity than this one right here okay i just want to be upfront on that but i think these are a little too pricey and I understand Charlotte Tilbury and I understand the brand I'm a lover of Charlotte Tilbury you know that I buy every single product that she comes out with you know that you already know it but I think these are a little too pricey now she used to have these um, sticks in different shades I don't know, and I, again I mentioned it on my Will I Buy It video I don't know if she's planning to kind of test the waters and see how these do for her and maybe bring more shades for right now they are limited edition but it could be something that is limited edition right now but then you know how it goes a lot of brands they say that they test the waters it seems to be really well accepted by customers you know loyal customers and new customers and then they convert it in a full line but for right now let's let's say that so that's all what i can tell you right now will i recommend it i mean as you can tell they were easy to blend easy to apply you can build on top it doesn't lift up the foundation so i mean in general i will say it's a good product again longevity i will have to follow up with you but you know talking about pricing right there right now there are so many brands like even natasha denona she has 
I mean, this one is different, right? It has four products right here, but you have cream products too. I also make comparison with pricing on the review of the Patrick Tap with Natasha Denona. So, I mean, if you're thinking about money, quality, there's a lot out there. I'm not saying do not buy these ones. They are beautiful, but what I say is like, you know, you have choices out there. Okay, friends, and now I would love to know your comments down below. Let me know if you have purchased these products, how you like them, if you have received them, and let's just start the conversation. I'm so appreciative for your time, for you to be here, and I hope that while you're leaving your comment, you will give me the opportunity and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's super easy. Here I have great content. I bring you reviews on the new products in the market. I bring you hauls. I mean, there's a lot right here, a lot of fun stuff. And again, I would love for you to become part of the family. So subscribe to my channel, ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. Come and follow me on my Instagram right there. I keep you posted on the products that they are launching right there and then. I give you the first dips to it and keep you informed. Also, I take close up pictures so you can kind of like see and compare and we can just grow our family even more. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.